This video will discuss the enthalpy of formation in thermodynamics. So the standard enthalpy of formation, which is represented by delta HF naught here, as I've, as I've shown out, that's the standard molar enthalpy of reaction at one bar and 273.15 Kelvin for forming some chemical species from its elements in their standard states. So for any given chemical species like glucose or water or carbon dioxide or a protein or DNA, any kind of chemical species that you can write an equation for, the enthalpy of formation is the enthalpy that occurs from forming that particular chemical species from its elements in its standard state under these conditions. So what are the standard states of various elements that we'll remind ourselves of from general chemistry. So these are things like H hydrogen. So every individual element is going to have a different standard state, but each of them is going to have one standard state uh, that it starts from for these enthalpies of formation. So there are some that are diatomic gases, H2, um, N2, O2, F2, Cl2. Some are monatomic gases, particularly the noble gases like helium, neon, argon, etc. There are only a few liquids, um, notably mercury is a liquid. Um, then most other things are going to end up being solids. So most metals and a lot of other things end up being solids. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, and basically everything you see in the D block, the S block, etc. So the enthalpy of formation is defined to be zero for any of these elements in their standard states at this temperature and pressure. So how do we do this in practice? So if we look at glucose, which is C6H12O6, that's a solid at 273 Kelvin and one bar. So the reaction for six solid carbon atoms plus six, six molecules of H2 gas plus three molecules of O2 gas at, 290, at 273 and one bar, forming one molecule of glucose. The enthalpy of formation for that reaction is minus 1271 kilojoules per mole. So there are a lot of tables that you can look up these things in for a given chemical species. You can also often find these things at the back of textbooks or various internet databases, but every single chemical species has its own unique enthalpy of formation and that's going to be very useful to us in calculating the enthalpy changes of various chemical reactions.